if you guys want to see the process on how so I right there, up or how I maintained no. his no, wigs, I will also put the link in the description box below as well. Yeah. Look, the real is back. The veil is back. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. This is Laura with Moving On Up with the Monvilles. And today I just want to show you guys me taking out my husband's threads out of his wicks. And this has been a year since he had his wicks formed. And I just wanted to do a different process to get his wicks completely locked together. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned to the end for the results. Some of them still kind of stay together as in locked. Some of them weren't all the way there. Now, you see the lock kind of spreads out right here, but his wicks actually started from like up here. So it looks like the, the locking process kind of started to roll down and it just didn't get there all the way. So only a couple of them have spread out, but for the most part, they all stayed intact like this one is a really good one that stayed together um this one fingered out this one just spread out and this is one year with the process that i did with the needle and thread um let me find another good one that stayed block. Like this one. Let's see. This one's good. Like this one's only like a little bit. So let me see if I can see. So if you look through here, you guys can see that. You see the hair. See that behind my finger that's like starting to come together now i have a process that i'm gonna do just to help his hair um like with these come together nicely and you can stay tuned for that video but this is right now his wicks we got 21 of them right we got 21 I want to be with no one description box below on the process on how I did this but we knew this was going to be temporary just in the meantime he really wanted to create his wicks he didn't want the smaller dreads anymore and now it's time for the upgrade so this is one year of having the thread as you guys can see the thread is still good it did not rot it 
I properly dried my hair. Yeah, yeah, his hair didn't, it was no issues on, you know, when, his, when he washed his hair, there was no issues when he had to dry it. His hair was still able to dry properly. That's his little dust bunny. And all the white stuff that he has in his hair, I will pick them out. Um, at my husband's job, he wears a hairnet. And it, it just it just breaks off really bad in his hair. So, but as you guys can see, this thread is really good. And this is just a regular thread, the weave, the weave thread that, you know, women use to put tracks in their hair. And yeah, and that's it. So let me know what you guys think about this one year of having the thread in his hair. And this is what created the wig. So I'm gonna show you guys his hair over time yeah. so as you guys can see there's <laughs> this is a lock and these are mature these are completely oh tight God. if you guys want to see the process on how I, I up or how I maintained no. his no, wigs I will also put the link in the description box below as well as you, guys, as you guys can see these are completely so his hair actually started from here because you guys you can kind of see it right there and this from here to here is about the, the year of new growth well the year of growth that he has but his hair was about this long when i started the process and look but his hair is completely locked um for a good amount of length. Okay, this this was part of the small the smaller lines, but they locked from the root down. I would have said maybe about another year it would have been locked all the way down. But I have a new technique that he absolutely loves, so we're gonna go ahead and and try that. And this one right here, this this look right here, um. He caught it his fingers. <laughs> it, it split out like like these, like from the very beginning. It had popped. One of the threads had popped, and he kind of left it out, hoping that it would have came together, but it never did. And the technique that I used, um, I I gave it a try, and he likes it. So as you guys can see, it's not um, flared out or anything like that. And I will be tightening this up a little bit. Cause I can still feel that it's, you know, it, 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 it can still go a little bit more in, so.